மெட்ரிக் 6212 contact 9344567484 for online admission log on to www.kurunjischoolnkl.in in our last class we will see that the extraction of metal from its ore so the metallurgy process will carry in three steps so the first step in the metallurgical process is concentration of ore the second step is extraction of crude metal then the third step is refining of crude metal so in the concentration of ore is done by the four methods so depending on the nature of the ore so ore oda nature depend panni so three met- four methods la nam complete pannidom so the first method for the concentration of the ore is the first method of the concentration of the ore is gravity separation or hydraulic wash gravity separation of hydraulic wash the gravity separation is used to concentrate the oxide ore the second one is froth flotation process so the froth flotation process is used to concentrate the sulfide ores then the third one is leaching process so the leaching process is based on the suitable solvent so the metallic ore which is dissolved in a particular solvent depending on the nature of the solvent the leaching process is further classified into four types so the first leaching type is ammonia leaching cyanide leaching acid leaching and alkali leaching so the cyanide leaching acid leaching alkali leaching and ammonia leaching those are based on the nature of the solvent so enna type of solvent i use pandromo and the solvent depend panni the leachings are classified into four types so the next one is electromagnetic separation the fourth type of concentration of ore is electromagnetic separation so the main important the second step in the metallurgical process so the metallurgical process is done by the three step the first step is concentration of ore the second step is extraction of crude metal so from the concentration of ore we get the crude metal so uh, crude metal is obtained so the crude metal eppadi extract pannala further so the extraction of crude metal is done by the two steps so the first step is conversion of the ore into metal oxide so conversion of concentrated ore into metal oxide so first step la ore concentrate paniyaachu that mean the percentage of ore is increased from the mineral so ores la irukudey metallic ore enna panirukom concentration increase panirukom so the concentrated ore is converted into an metal oxide metal oxide ah convert pandrom the second one is reduction of metal oxide into metal so metal oxide ah further ah reduce panni enna convert pandrom metals ah convert pandrom so the extraction of crude metal is done by the two steps the first step is conversion of the ore into metal oxide so concentrated ore is converted into a metal oxide the second one is reduction of metal oxide into metal so metal oxide metal are reduce pandrom because the reduction of metal oxide is easier than the metal components so metal oxide is easily reduced to a metal compare with the ore type so concentrated ore metal are reduce pandradha vida metal oxide metal are reduce pandradha very easy so for that first step is done the conversion of ore into metal oxide so and the reason ka easy reduction ka ga da ore ore enna convert pandrom metal oxide ah convert pandrom then the reduction of metal oxide into metal so in metal oxide the oxidation state of metal is in positive state so positive oxidation state la present aagum for example ferric oxide fe2o3 the oxidation state of iron in fe2o3 is plus 3 positive oxidation state la the metal exist aagum but when it is reduced to form a metal in its oxidation state is zero elemental state ku convert aagudhu so the reduction of metal oxide into metal so reduction means the oxidation number decreases nam 11th class le paathirukom if the oxidation number increases there was a oxidation process will be carried if the oxidation number decreases there was a reduction process is carried so in the reduction of metal oxide into metal the positive oxidation state of the metal in metal oxide is reduced to a metal in its elemental state so metal oxide la present a irukumbodhu metal exist in the positive oxidation state so when it is reduced to a metal it is in 
zero oxidation state. So elemental state is converted. So the first one is the, in the extraction of crude metal, the first one is conversion of ore into concentrated ore into metal oxide. So the conversion of the concentrated ore into metal oxide is carried by the two methods. One is roasting, the other one is calcination. So extraction of crude metal is done by the two steps. So the first one conversion of the metal concentrated ore into metal oxide is follows the two steps. So depending on the nature of the ore, in the type of ore or other depend pani, the ore is converted to a metal oxide by the two ways. One it may be the roasting or the other one is calcination. One is roasting a present type of calcination. So depending on the nature of the ore, the method is selected on the basis of the nature of the ore. If it is a sulphide ore, the roasting is used to convert the metal oxide. If it is a sulphide ore, the concentrated ore is converted to a metal oxide by the process of roasting. If it is a carbonate or hydrated salts, carbonate or hydrated salts which is converted to a metal oxide by calcination. So, if ore or type of sulphide ore or carbonate ore or hydrated ore or depend on it. So, two, two ways ore or metal oxide are convert on So, if it is a sulphide ore, the ore is converted to a metal oxide by roasting. If it is a carbonate ore or hydrated salts which is converted to a metal oxide by calcination process. So, upon the process that depend on it, convert on So, the first one is roasting. So the roasting means the process of conversion of sulphide ore into metal oxide in the presence of excess of oxygen. This is the main difference between roasting and calcination. So roasting in the presence of excess of oxygen. So roasting is done in the presence of excess of oxygen it is converted to a metal oxide. So but calcination so it is done in the absence of air. So in the presence of air the ore is heated. So ore or air, air, oxygen or the presence la ore heat panna that is the roasting process. Ore is heated in the presence of oxygen it is a roasting process. So ore, so roasting means the process of conversion of sulphide ore into metal oxide. So calcination liu the ore is converted to a metal oxide but the condition is different. So roasting in the presence of oxygen, the ore is heated in the presence of excess of oxygen but calcination means the ore is heated in the absence of oxygen in the absence of air. So absence of air and oxygen all one them. So our limited supply of air. So this is the main difference between roasting and calcination. So in roasting the process of conversion of sulphide ore into metal oxide in the presence of excess of oxygen, the roasting process is carried out in a reverberatory furnace. So the reverberatory furnace is the important furnace to make the roasting process. So the roasting process are carried under the very important process the reverberatory furnace. So the roasting is done in a reverberatory furnace. So the ore is heated below its melting point. So below the melting point of the metal. So ore yedubarakin heat pani roast pandro. So below the melting point of the metal. So otherwise if it if it is heated above its melting point, the metal is started to melting. So the roasting is used to make the dryness of the ore, ore particle dry up under the kaha matta na roast up pandro. So if it is heated above its melting point, so metal or the melting point where you heat panna, the metal is started to be melting, it is converted to a liquid state. So it cannot be dried. So to avoid that uh, conversion of the liquid of the metal, ore is heated below its melting point. Melting point is lowest temperature where you matta na heat pandro. For example, the roasting is applicable for sulphide ore. So one of the sulphide ores lead sulphide. So it's important ore of lead that is galena. Lead sulphide in its ore form it is known as galena. So the galena is roasted. So roasted at temperature at high temperature so heating condition. So galena is heated in the excess of air. So air or oxygen both are same. Air and oxygen are one because the atmosphere which contains oxygen. So the lead sulphide that is the galena is heated in the press excess of air particle it is converted to a lead oxide. The metal sulphide the ore is heated in the presence of excess of oxygen it is converted to its metal oxide. Metal oxide are converted. So lead sulphide is converted to a lead oxide and the impurity the sulphur is expo expelled to a sulphur dioxide gas. So volatile oxides are liberate. So when lead, lead sulphide 
is heated in the presence of excess of oxygen it is converted to a metal oxide lead oxide and sulfur is expelled to a sulfur dioxide as a gas molecule so but during roasting sulfur dioxide is exposed then second one is zinc sulfide so the zinc sulfide is in the ore form of zinc blend so important ore of zinc so zinc blend is roasted in the excess of oxygen it is converted to an zinc oxide so ore is converted to metal oxide on heating in the presence of oxygen so in this form is also the sulfur dioxide is also expelled the second third one is cuprous sulfide so the cuprous sulfide is heated in the presence of excess of oxygen it's converted to its oxide cuprous oxide are convert agudhu so in those three equation the sulfur is exposed to an expelled to an sulfur dioxide gas so unwanted compounds are exposed to an gases molecule gases molecule are convert agudhu so the other impurities if it is present any volatile oxide any volatile impurities are present those are removed as their volatile oxides so those are the concentrated ore so the concentration la enna paathirundho the removal of impurities that is the removal of gangue particles from the ore is known as concentration so the some impurities are unremoved some impurities enna pannaam irukalam remove aagama irukalam so those unremoved uh, unremoved impurities are removed as their volatile oxides during roasting appo the expose aagada remove aagada impurities ellame enna agudhu during the roasting process those are removed as their volatile oxides for example the ore particle the concentrated ore may contain arsenic sulfur phosphorus so the concentrated ore la enna present a irukalam arsenic sulfur phosphorus present a irukalam if it contains the impurities as arsenic sulfur and phosphorus those are removed their volatile oxides during roasting process so in this case the sulfur is removed as their sulfur dioxide so sulfur particle enna change aagudhu sulfur dioxide eliminate aagudhu so if it contains the arsenic and phosphorus those are also exposed to and removed as a volatile oxide so volatile means easily evaporated so easy expose aagakudiya compound oxides are liberate aagudhu for example arsenic so if the concentrated ore it contains arsenic or when the concentrated ore la arsenic is present as an impurity it is oxidized to form arsenous oxide arsenous oxide a convert agudhu so arsenous oxide is a gaseous form that is a volatile oxide but during roasting it is exposed so the second one if sulfur is present it is oxidized to form sulfur dioxide so the unwanted components are removed as their volatile oxides edella namakku vendamo adellama enna remove agudhu adoda volatile oxides are remove agudhu so volatile means easily evaporated if it contains phosphorus during roasting the phosphorus is converted to an phosphorus pentoxide phosphorus pentoxide are convert agudhu so during roasting process the metal sulfides are converted to an metal oxides in addition to that if there is any impurities are present it may be arsenic sulfur and phosphorus those are removed as their volatile oxides so arsenic is removed as a arsenic oxide and sulfur is removed as a sulfur dioxide and phosphorus is removed as a phosphorus pentoxide so the second one is calcination so another method in the conversion of the ore into metal oxide so the calcination is applied for the hydrated salts and metal carbonate that mean the hydrated ore particle and metal carbonate hydrated ore particle ku metal carbonates ku meda apply pannalam calcination calcination apply pannalam so conversion of metal sal metal metallic ore into metal oxide is done by the two ways depending on the nature of the ore particle so if it is a sulfide ore the metal, metal oxide sorry ore is converted to a metal oxide by roasting if it is a carbonate ore the metal concentrated ore is converted to a metal oxide by calcination so munadiye paathirukom roasting ku calcination ku enna main difference so roasting abingiradhu you know, the ore is heated in the presence of excess of oxygen so calcination means the ore is heated at high temperature in the absence of air or absence of oxygen absence of air nalum absence of oxygen nalum onnu da or limited supply of air so excess of air presence la heat panna roasting absence of air or limited supply of air la heat panna that is the calcination process so the hydrated salts that means the hydrated ores 
are metal carbonates are heated at elevated temperature so in the triangle sign edu kudupom heating condition ka kudupom so the hydrated salts or metal carbonates are heated at elevated temperature it means at high temperature the component the concentrated ores are converted to an metal oxide so roastingly metal oxide adha convert pandrom calcinationly metal oxide adha convert pandrom so during the heating process the hydrated salts mean the hydrated ore particles expels water so hydrated means which contains water molecule water crystalline formula present airukum so the crystalline water molecule will expelled to when water on heating appa hydrated salts a heat pannum bodu it's converted to when metal oxide during the conversion process the water is expelled as a moisture form that means water vapor so moisture ngiradhu the water vapor appa hydrated ore particle a heat pannum bodu the water is expelled the water is expelled in the form of moisture moisture form la expel agum and if it is a carbonate salt so if it is a carbonate ore which is expels the carbon dioxide on heating appa carbonate is converted to a metal oxide on heating and it also expels the carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide is a acidic gas carbon dioxide in acidic gas a form padudhu so hydrated ore component a irundhadna it converted it expels the water in the form of moisture if it is a carbonate ore on heating it expels a carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide nature is acidic gas acidic gas so the calcination process is also carried out in a reverberatory furnace so roasting is also carried out in a reverberatory furnace even the calcination is also carried out in a reverberatory furnace very important furnace to make the roasting process that means to make the ore into dry condition and the metallic ore concentrated ore dry a convert pandradukaga without water content so dry a convert pandradukka use pannakudi furnace endu reverberatory furnace so in calcination we use them the carbonate ores are converted to a metal oxide carbonate ores a metal oxide a convert pandrom for example lead carbonate so it is another important ore of lead that is cerussite the name is cerussite so lead carbonate in its chemical name if it is considered as a ore particle when it is obtained from the natural obtained from the earth's crust its name is cerussite so the lead carbonate cerussite is heated it is converted to an lead oxide and liberates carbon dioxide gas so carbonate component a irundaduna on heating it liberates carbon dioxide ipo dhan paathirundhom so during calcination the metallic ores are heated at high temperature it expels carbon dioxide which is acidic in nature the next one is calcium carbonate so calcium carbonate is another ore of calcium so the name is calcite so the calcite is heated it produces calcium oxide and liberates carbon dioxide gas so carbonate component and the carbon dioxide gas liberate pannum then zinc carbonate which is known as calamine so zinc carbonate is heated it gives zinc oxide and carbon dioxide gas zinc oxide and carbon dioxide gas will liberate pannudhu then next one is magnesium carbonate and calcium carbonate dolomite the compound name is known as dolomite so which is a important ore of magnesium magnesium is a important ore which is the combination of magnesium carbonate and calcium carbonate so on heating the dolomite which converts when metallic oxides magnesium oxide and calcium oxide and liberate carbon dioxide gas so carbonate ore on heated it liberates carbon dioxide gas carbon dioxide gas and liberate panadhu so the another one is hematite so that means ferric oxide hydrated ore hydrated ore are present a irukumbodu so when the hydrated ores are heated it liberates it which expels the water molecule in the form of moisture so moisture enna solino water vapor so the hydrated iron oxide is heated it converted to its oxide and then the excess of water molecule which is exposed as a moisture so moisture means water vapor water vapor a expose agudhu and then alumina so alumina hydrated alumina on heating it gives alumina al2o3 aluminium oxide and the excess of water the crystalline water is expelled to an water vapor water vapor a expel agudhu so during calcination the carbonate ores are heated it expels the carbon dioxide if it is a hydrated ore it expels the car water molecule as a moisture form so moisture form la expel pannudhu so the lela menadu during roasting or calcination the concentrated ores are converted to its oxide 
So what is the reason for the conversion of the oxides? The direction director reduction process is not metal oxides are conducted to the reason. So the metal oxide is easily reduced than the components of the metallic ore. So metallic ore metallic ore reduced under the vida, metal oxides are easier reduce on. So so far that we use the conversion of the ore into metal oxide. So the next one is reduction of metal oxides. So the extraction of crude metal is two steps pathrukon conversion of the ore into metal oxide. The second one is reduction of metal oxides into metal. The conversion of the ore into metal oxides are two steps pathrukon roasting and calcination. So the roasting and calcination is used to form the metal oxides. So the metal oxide is obtained from the above process is further reduced to get the crude metal because the second metallurgical process is extraction of crude metal. So metallurgical process is second method in the extraction of crude metal. So when the crude metal is obtained from the metal, metal oxide. So in the metal oxides are reduced under the nala, crude metal obtained. So the reduction of metal oxides can be reduced. That means the metal oxides can be reduced by the reduced to a crude metal by using a suitable reducing agent. So suitable reducing agent to use panni metal oxides and metal reduce panala. Such as the carbon, carbon monoxide, hydrogen and other reactive metals, sodium, aluminium, potassium. So they la use panna panala reduction and carry panala. So the metal oxides is reduced to a metal by using a suitable reducing agent. So which type of reducing agent is used to reduce the metal oxide which is selected on the basis of Elangam diagram. So, if you use reducing agent, you use metal oxides. Use so, particular reducing agent is used to reduce a particular metal oxide. So, specific, more specific in its nature. So, the reducing agent is selected on the nature of the metal oxide by using the Elangam diagram. So, Elangam diagram is concept to use pani, which reducing agent is suitable for that metal oxide is selected. For example, the carbon cannot be used as a reducing agent for the reactive metals such as sodium, potassium, etc. So, carbon, carbon monoxide, hydrogen, sodium, potassium, aluminium, reducing agent. But those all the reducing agent is not used for any metal oxides. For example, carbon cannot be used as a reducing agent for the reactive metals such as sodium, potassium, etc. But carbon and the sodium potassium extract is one of the reducing agent but it is not suitable for the uh, to obtain the crude metal of sodium potassium. In the same way the carbon monoxide cannot be used to reduce oxide such as zinc oxide alumina. But that is carbon monoxide is zinc oxide alumina we reduce but the zinc oxide and alumina can be reduced by carbon. So zinc oxide and alumina is reduced by carbon. So carbon cannot be used to reduce the sodium, potassium, aluminium and the reactive metals are reduced to use. But carbon can be used to reduce zinc oxide and alumina. So this reducing agent is suitable for the particular metal oxide it is not used for all the metal oxide to reduce it into metal. So all metal oxide metal are reduced under the reducing agent is not used to So one of the method is smelting process. So all over method we have to smelting process. So the reduction of metal oxides is a very important one is smelting. So the smelting means it is a combination of roasting and melting. So roasting process is not and melting process is not If you roasting, the ore is heated below its melting point. Ore is heated below its melting point to avoid the melting of the metal. Metal melt ahama avoid pandarka liquid state convert pannama convert ahama avoid pandarka namena pandro melting point ku keela varaikum heat pandro so the roasting is carried below its melting point the roasting is carried below its melting point to avoid the melting of the metal metal melt ahama only dry condition la obtain pandrka ah mattum nama heat pandro so in smelting so smelting is a combination of roasting and melting so in the smelting process we introduce the reducing agent. So roasting la reducing agent and flux use panla. But in smelting we introduce the reducing agent and flux. Reducing agent and flux use panro. So the concentrated ore is mixed with the suitable reducing agent and flux. So the flux is used to convert the impurities. That means insoluble impurities are converted into a fusible slag. So there are present are the concentrated ore which also contains some impurities. All impurities are present. So that means unwanted impurities other than the metal. 
ஸோ எந்த மெட்டலை எக்ஸ்ட்ராக்ட் பண்ணுறோமோ அந்த மெட்டலை தவிர சம் அன்வான்டட் இம்ப்யூரிட்டிஸ் ப்ரெசென்ட் ஆகிரும் ஸோ தோஸ் இம்ப்யூரிட்டிஸ் ஆர் இன்சாலிபிள் ஸோ சாலிபிள் இன்சாலிபிளாக ப்ரெசென்ட் ஆகிருக்கும் சாலிட் ஃபார்ம்லேயே ப்ரெசென்ட் ஆகிரும் so those unwanted impurities are removed as a fusible slag that means melted slag so slag means waste material so appa the vendan rendu ellame waste material than the waste material enu solrom slag form nu solrom but the insoluble impurities are removed into an fusible slag so fusible na edhu insoluble form a melt pandradhukaga nam add pandrathu so the flux is used to melt the unwanted insoluble impurities into an fusible slag and is heated on smelting furnace so the smelting process is carried out in a smelting furnace smelting process smelt, smelting process la carry pandrom smelting furnace la carry pandrom so the concentrated ore is mixed with the reducing agent and flux is heated in a smelting furnace we get the fusible slag fusible slag a form pannudhu so the smelting process is applied in the extraction of iron in the smelting process edhil apply pandrom extraction of iron and extraction of copper idu ellathume apply pandrom so one of the important ore of iron is hematite so iron oda important ore enadhu hematite that is ferric oxide so the ferric oxide is mixed so ferric oxide is the concentrated ore is mixed with the reducing agent so reducing agent is pandrom that is carbon monoxide so the suitable reducing agent for the extraction of iron is carbon monoxide carbon monoxide is pandrom when it is heated with the carbon monoxide the metallic oxide is reduced to an crude metal metallic oxide never reduce agudhu crude metal are reduce agudhu and then the carbon monoxide is removed as carbon dioxide carbon dioxide gas are remove agudhu so in the second method la enna paathukku reduction of metal oxides into metal metal oxides a metal are reduce pandrom by using a suitable reducing agent so in the process of smelting the chief that means the concentrated ore of iron is taken so the con- concentrated ore of iron is hematite is reduced by a suitable reducing agent that is carbon monoxide which reduces the ferric oxide into iron so ferric oxide a crude metal are reduced panudhu and then the carbon monoxide is exposed to an carbon dioxide carbon dioxide are exposed agudhu so and then the reduce one of the flux is used because a concentrated ore ferric oxide which also contains some impurities gangu particle impurities unwanted part impurities ellame enna solli irukalam gangu particle nu solli paathirukom so and unwanted impurities gangu nu appadi enna varukalam rocky part rocky matter or siliceous matter nu solluvom siliceous matter nu enadhu sand particle so sand particle means which contains silica so in this method in this uh, i extraction of iron the silica is a gangu material silica da enna varukku gangu material a present ayir so the gangu material the unwanted impurities is removed by introducing a flux that is calcium oxide that means a limestone the limestone is a basic flux because in the extraction of iron la present ayir ka gangu particle enadhu acidic nature so the acidic gangu silica is present which is removed by adding which is removed by adding a flux calcium oxide that is a limestone which is basic in nature appa present a irka gangu particle acidic a irundichu appadina present a irka gangu particle acidic nature a irundichuna namba add panna koodiya flux enna va irukum basic so opposite nature la opposite nature la endha enna aga mudiyum adu or slag formation kondu vara mudiyum so the silica present in the extraction of iron is acidic in nature so we introduce the flux that means basic flux is introduced that is a limestone which is converted to an calcium silicate slag is formed so a single equation a kuduthirukla mela kuduthirukka smelting process mariyadha so the concentrated ore is mixed with the reducing agent and a suitable flux is heated in a smelting furnace we get fusible slag so the fusible slag which contains the unwanted impurities gangu particle da present a irukum so idu or single equation a kudukama two separate equation a kuduthirukanga so the ferric oxide is which contains the gangu particle silica acidic gangu present a irukku to that we adding the reducing agent carbon monoxide plus flux is a basic flux calcium oxide so gangu particle acidic nature a irukkanal nam adu add panna koodiya flux enna nature la irukku basic flux a irukku so the gangu particle is converted to an fusible slag calcium silicate by using the basic flux calcium oxide